Hey Bobcats! Today I'm going to show you how to do an outdoor art project while we learn about geometric shapes. Let's review the difference between organic and geometric shapes. Organic shapes are typically found in nature and have a flowing or curvy appearance. Whereas geometric shapes are shapes such as squares, triangles, circles, rectangles that have uniform measurements and are typically not found in nature. Here's a visual to show you the difference between geometric shapes and organic shapes. Here's what you'll need to be able to do this project. A roll of masking tape or painter's tape, something thick that will stick to the sidewalk. Regular office tape is not going to be able to stick. Also, you shouldn't really use duct tape because it's too thick. Something a little thinner will work just fine. You'll also need sidewalk chalk. Any colors that you have are fine. Before you start this project, make sure to get permission from an adult to use the sidewalk chalk and to use the tape. Next, you'll need to go outside and find a sidewalk or a driveway. The smoother, the better. It's a good idea to use a broom to sweep off the area you're going to be working in to get rid of any leaves or acorns or dirt Next, use your tape to mark off a border or a frame for the area that you want to work in. Next, use the tape to start making lines inside your border. Make sure they go from edge to edge. Also, make sure that some of the lines crisscross each other. This will create more shapes. Continue using the tape to break down each section into smaller and smaller geometric shapes. Try to name the shapes that you make. Do you have triangles, squares, maybe some irregular polygons? Now it's time to color. Choose a piece of chalk and start coloring in each of your shapes. Go slow, work around the outsides first, so that the tape doesn't come up. If you can, try to use different colors for shapes that share a side. I noticed in the top left corner that my tape wasn't sticking very well. This is because that area was a little bit wet. The tape will stick best to a dry sidewalk or driveway. When you're done coloring each section, then it's time to do a little bit of blending. Use your hand to blend in the chalk in each section. This will help all that chalk dust settle into any cracks or holes that you have in your driveway or sidewalk. When you're done blending, it's time for the best part. Peel up the tape and see your finished masterpiece. And make sure that all that tape finds its way into a trash can. Don't forget to take a picture.